Okay, this is another one where I wanted to show you guys pictures because it was truly an amazing mine. Now, what you're looking at here are the mine buildings, and then this is the ore dump here. You'll see a lot more of that in our video because uh, Mr. McBride and I go out on that. So the earliest records on this mine date back to 1857. As you can see, this picture was taken in 1877. And this mine was so big that a small town was built next to it to accommodate it. There were 150 miners employed here. The main adit went back for more than 8,000 feet into the mountain. And there's also a lower adit that went back for about 2,500 feet. Okay, now this is a picture actually inside the mine itself. You can see there's an electric car there on the front pulling the ore carts in the back. Now this was a placer drift mine. They were going after the ancient river channels, and they did certainly find them. There are reports of them finding quartz boulders that are 20 to 40 feet in diameter back there, which is pretty extraordinary. This is a picture of one of the crews that works at the mine. And the records that we have found indicate that the mine itself closed down in 1895. So we are parked down below the North American mine, uh, close to where the town of Hepsidam was. And we are going to head out and try and find the North American mine. It's up there somewhere. And that's as much as we know. It's up there somewhere. It's, uh, it's a climb getting up here. This, uh, this hill is pretty steep, but there is a... Uh, huge tailings pile up here. You see that distinctive look right there. And then looks like it extends all the way there too. So we're on the right track. And uh, we're finding all kinds of uh, bits of metal hushing the way up, you know. Old strips and bits of tin and cans. And Chuck found the uh, head of a pickaxe. So, it's just so much activity that took place here. Dude, these are some serious tailings piles. What? I mean... This is just... This ain't nothing. This is perfect. These are some big tailings piles. One of the tunnels at this mine had a steam engine down in it, and Chuck just found the stack for the steam engine down in the mine, obviously directly below me. And it's just awesome that it's still here. And you can see it just... Uh, curves off down below to drop into the depths down there. Uh, you can still see the crease and such on the sides as well. And this is just <laughs> amazing. This is so cool. The steam engine is, excuse me, the stack from the steam engine is still here. Really, really cool. Never seen anything like that before. Think of is this where, where the water came out? That the steam engine was pumping. Right, so the steam engine would have been pumping the water out, and then, like you said, you got the pipes over there. Right here. Right there. Hmm. This is obviously artificial, man. Just. Oh, yeah, no, no. Well, look right there. There's, um, like, at the Evans mine. Yeah, you're right. See the. the I got the door and everything. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at that. Huh. Curious, curious. That was a uh, pretty serious door at one point. I know Chuck is. Was that soft? I'm guessing it was by the expression on your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's scared the crap out of me.
I'm gonna pick it open. How far does it keep going that way? Oh, I'm going all the way down. See where it's been washed out right here, huh? Well, you know that um, back there where that red dirt was in that wash, I mean, maybe the portal was there and it eroded back or something. Something, dude. But I, I couldn't see where, you know what I mean? I no, I, I agree. I didn't see a face I either. Where would, or where I would, you know, where it would have uh, recessed a little bit. I just wonder if it washed out or something. I mean, it's fucking there. It's obviously there. It's fucking... I mean, yeah, I had the red... Yeah, the acid wash out or whatever. Yeah, whatever you call that. And then this, I mean, this is, there's no disputing this. Yeah, it's all put there by man. In the beginning, man mines. Oh, nibbles, dude. What are you doing?